everyone my name is hemu now in this video we will going to discuss how we can configure your v smart controller in previous videos we have seen the configuration of v bond and v manage what are the basic configuration we have to do right now let's see how we can configure your v smart controller so i already have my v smarts here so to start the config on vsmart you can see system ready is already there just log in into your vsmart one admin admin so you can go into the config mode go inside the system configuration mode configure the host name which is vsmart01 configure the organization name which is cnets configure the site id which is 10 configure the system ip address which is 9999999.12 configure the b bond ip address which is 10.1101.11 this is the ip address of b bond configure the time zone clock time zone asia kolkata this is the basic configuration which we have to do host name site id or asia kolkata and all and now i will basically start my vpn 0 interface exit out vpn 0 interface according to our topology we have this interface it's zero right so i will configure here it's zero interface no shutdown ip address on this interface which is 10.1101.12 Slash twenty four. Now, tunnel interface. Allow service all. Allow service SSS. Allow service netconf. So these are the service which we need to allow, right? Exit out. Exit out at the default out pointing to the speed router. Ten dot one one zero one dot one. Define the DNS eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. Exit out. Go inside VPN five one twelve. In your VPN five one twelve, we have to configure interface. It's it's one right according to top laws. It's eight one. Yeah, that's the correct one. ip address or ip dhcp client no shut down commit and quit this is the configuration which i want to do into my v smart one now from v smart one i have just tried to ping 10.1101.1 pingable 10.1.101.10 v manager is also pingable B bond is also reachable. Ping to Cisco dot com. Let's see internet is reachable or not. Internet is also we are, which means we are good with the V Smart One configuration. Now let's do the V Smart Two configuration. Admin, admin, Confti, system, host name, V Smart. You. B bond IP address ten dot one one zero one dot eleven. Organization name CNNs. Site ID is ten. System IP is ninety nine ninety nine ninety nine dot thirteen. Clock time zone Asia Kolkata. Exit. Now VPN zero. Interface F zero. No shutdown. IP addresses ten dot one one zero one dot thirteen slash twenty four. Tunnel interface allow service SSSD allow service netconf and allow service all. Exit out. Exit out at default route which is IP route. Zero dot zero dot zero slash zero. Next will be stand one one zero one dot one. DNS is eight dot eight dot. 
8.8.8.8. Exit out. E pin 5.1.12. Interface H1. IP DSCP client. No shutdown. Commit and quit. Ping Cisco.com. Pingable, ping 10.1101.10, pingable, 11 is also pingable. Now, whatever configuration you have done so far, guys, if you want to check the system related configure, you can run this command, so run system. It will tell you the system related configuration, guys. This is the best command to check all these things. If you want to check the BPN rated configuration, you can type BPN zero. Here you will get the BPN zero rated configuration. If you want to see the BPN five one twelve, you can check by running this command BPN five five one two configuration, right? So guys, this is how we have to do the configuration of your V manager, your B bond and your vSmart controllers. Now what I will do, now I will add basically, what I will try to add these controllers, this vBond, vSmart1 and vSmart2. Now I will add these controllers into my vManager. So if you are really interested to add these controllers generally but before that what we have to do we have to do the licensing and all basically addition is very easy you have to go to into devices controllers from here you can able to add your controllers right so let me just add the controllers add your b bond controller how you can add your b bond control i will put the ip address of your b bond 1.11 admin admin add so you will get this error fail to add these details right try to add again deselect this option right so we are not able to add it right now. Why it is not able to add it? Because there is some problem with the SHS, right? We are not able to take the SHS right now, right? Let's try vSmart controller 10.1101.12. Admin. Admin. Deselect this CSR. We will generate later. So vSmart is added successfully. Add v, another v smart 10.1101.13. Admin. Admin. Add this v smart as well. This v smart is also added. Now try to add the b bond again. Put the b bond IP to 10.1101.11. Admin. Admin. Let's see. So we are getting this error right now. If you go into your B1 controller here, if you run this command, so running BPN zero configuration in your BPN zero interface, you can see here tunnel interface, tunnel encapsulation IPsec, allow service all. We allow the SHS service as well, right? Allow service SSHD all these services allowed which means which means if i can able to ping from here 10.1101.10 ping is also working on b bone so run system check the system configuration system config is also fine ping 10.1101.10 11 ping is working i will try to take the shs 
admin at 10.1101.11. Let's see. Let me go inside the vCell SHS admin at the rate 10 dot 1101.11. Yes, admin. So right now, guys, I will not able to do the SHS on this device because when we, we will add these controllers, okay, into your v, v manager, we my v, v manager is will try to do the SHS on these devices, okay? And there is some problem that is the reason I will not able to do the SHS. So let me just try to troubleshoot it basically. So there was some problem with this B-Bone. So I have just stopped this device and I have just started. And now I can able to do the SHS, right? Let me just show you. So if I type here SS admin at 10.1101.11, put the password of B-Bone and I'm getting the B-Bone access, right? Which means now if I'll go here, if I this time, if I try to add, I will able to add this device successfully, right? So this is how we can basically add your B bond and your V smart controller into your V manager. Okay, thank you guys.